Hey guys, so I thought I would make an update video. And I know my channel sucks right now and I haven't been making any videos, but I have no, no, as much as I hate the expression sorry, I'm not sorry, I almost feel like that's what applies to my situation right now because, yeah. It's like I'm kind of sorry, but I'm not sorry at the same time because I know my life is busy. And it's hard being a mom to my nine month old, almost ten months old, and the move and all that. And now I have some other issues going on. So, uh, first of all, I'm just going to say that I'm here in the new apartment per my last video. Um, my whole family moved, so we're here, and I will maybe give a tour later, but things aren't completely all together. Um, I want to wait until I get my posters up in my room, and yeah, because I feel like everything's just kind of, I still have some stuff in boxes, but it's a lot better than it was. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you guys around sometime. It's just things are still kind of jumbled, but this apartment's a lot different than the other one. And, um, <clears throat> it'll be an interesting experience to live here and, I don't know, it's just, it's a little bit different than living on the other side of the apartment complex. Because we're closer to the main road, now we're just kind of down further, so it's different areas to walk when I go on walks, and different views, and it's a little more scenic on this side with the trees and the woods. So anyway, there's that, where Ma moved in. Um, uh, so what else is going on with me is I've been having a lot of pain in the shoulder and I would like because I'm always picking up Dragon of course um, a lot of picking him up, a lot of lifting and moving stuff when we moved um, a lot of housework a lot of things that I had to do that were really stupid like getting down the floor and cleaning mold and things like that at the old apartment and reaching up putting things away in cabinets and emptying out storage closet and all this other stuff all these things added to my problems so I would have like I would reach up with this arm and it would feel and almost sound like a click and then it would hurt really bad when that would happen and then sometimes I'd just go on with my day and work and stuff and it would do that again and it would hurt really bad, but then it would feel better throughout the day. Like, first I thought, like, my shoulder was, like, getting out of place or something. And then it would go back in. I didn't know what was going on. <clears throat> and then I started hurting a lot more. And my arm started feeling really heavy. And I couldn't lift it only past a certain point. I still can't lift it past a certain point, and I can't really lift it behind me. It's really weird because there's certain angles I can lift it at, but not as much as I used to. It's pretty sore right now. Um, it was really sore this morning when I woke up. It's really hard to sleep. Sometimes I have to prop it up with pillows, and other times nothing helps. So I did go to the doctor, and I found out it's a, it's a shoulder impingement. So, I'm not really sure how to describe that. <clears throat> Something having to do with the bursa. And, like, the bone rubbing on it. And the whole rotator cuff area getting really inflamed. I was really worried at first because I thought for sure that I had torn my rotator cuff, uh, the tendon, and I was scared. Because that's like a big recovery time and it's surgery and all that. And thank God I didn't. But it is, this injury is something that could lead to that if gone un, 
un, uh, taken care of. <laughs> I forgot what the word was I was going to say. but So I'm supposed to have physical therapy and I need to find out about that soon. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've been dealing with. So it's been really hard to take care of Dragon. But I'm trying to be careful with it and also take care of him at the same time. And um, when I can, I get help, but sometimes I don't, and that makes it really difficult. <clears throat> so, I got that. Plus, um, I don't know if I've talked about this in another video or not, but it's like ever since I had Dragon, I've had nothing but health problems. I don't know if it's because of the C-section or what, or if I got nerve damage or from C-section or epidural, or maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> My foot on the right side, same side as the shoulder, it feels like it's falling asleep or numb sometimes, and sometimes I don't have very much feeling in it. Sometimes it goes up the leg. And... Also, my legs are really sensitive to touch, like when Dragon stands on me or somebody presses into my arm or my leg. It's really sensitive and it hurts like way more than it should. So, I'm having a nerve conduction study done next month and we'll see what that tells us. I never went to the doctor so much before. <laughs> and I never had this many problems, like I said, until... I had that c-section so those are the things that are going on with me personally nothing really exciting just really annoying stuff and I want to feel better and I want to heal because I want to exercise lose weight and feel better and I just haven't been able to do that I've been keeping up walking as best as I can Try to go on walks, weather permitting. It's been crazy weather lately. We've had lots of snow. The snow is finally almost all melted. Um, I have mixed feelings about that. Because <laughs> I love snow, but at the same time, at this junction, I'm like, I wanted the snow a month or two ago, and now it's like, really? So, I just have to wait around for spring because I'm really looking forward to spring and nice days and, and better walks and stuff with baby I feel like this is a very boring vlog but I just wanted to talk about what was going on with me and explain a little bit and ask you guys to give me positive thoughts and prayers so that I can feel better and start getting more active um, physically Feel better emotionally and maybe be here more <laughs> make more videos maybe I hope I don't know I just <sighs> life is just so hard right now there's a lot of stress going on still family stuff and I just don't know I don't know what's gonna happen me and you will have some things we're praying about some possible plans but Hugo is learning to drive, and that's cool. So he'll finally get a license, and hopefully we'll be able to get a car soon. And then um, maybe some options will open up. Maybe we'll have some more freedom. Um, I haven't had much time to study or learn. I haven't had any time to do that. And even now with the injury, it's like, I don't know when things are going to happen, so I'm just kind of letting him do it and see how that goes for him. And yeah, that's all I want to say for now. Thanks for listening, and like I said, um, I will show the apartment later on when I get a chance. When things get a little better, um, I do like how I've decorated some. Um, even though it's not just mine and Yugo's apartment it's my sisters and moms too they've kind of let me have free reign as far as decorating goes um I mean it's not complete free reign because if it were up to me things would be a lot spookier like all over the house but um I'm just trying to keep it um where 
there's something a little bit of something that everybody likes and um, representing like different areas and stuff well you'll see later but anyway thanks for listening and I'll talk to you guys later